Darling, I'm home. <laughs> oh, hey, darling. Oh, darling, what's wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. I'll remove the gag from your mouth, but... Can you promise not to scream? Not for me, darling. <laughs> okay, darling. I'll remove it and uh, we can talk. Just me. <laughs> hmm. It's okay. You're okay, darling. What happened that made you so upset? You're not telling me? <laughs> Please tell me, darling. Of course I care. I love you so, 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 so much. I know you think I'm crazy. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. I truly love you and care about you. And I really want to help you feel better when you're so upset. So please tell me what's troubling you. You're, you're scared. Oh, darling. It's okay, it's okay. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. You're scared of me? That's upsetting. No, 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 no. Please don't apologize, darling. It's okay. It's okay. I promise. I already knew you were scared of me. Hmm. I know this hasn't been easy for you. I took you here in an unfamiliar place, keeping you tied up and sometimes I have to gag you, but you've been doing so well lately. Mm. You're even speaking to me more often. Look at you. <gasps> and when you're speaking to me, you're not just screaming insults like crazy or monster as much anymore. I want you to know that I'm really proud of how you've progressed. I mean, I would prefer a bit more progress, though. <gasps> oh, no, gosh, no, 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 please, please, it's okay. It's okay. You don't need to cry harder from that. I'm not mad at you, darling. I'm not. Let you go. No, darling. I'm afraid I can't do that. Why? Well... It's because I love you so much. And sometimes we have to make hard decisions about the people we love the most. I had to take you here for myself because I couldn't risk anyone else taking you, darling. I need you. I need you, and ever since I brought you here, I've been... So happy. It hurts me to see you unhappy, but... But, unfortunately, this is the only way to make this work for now. I know you don't like being tied up, darling. I, I really do. I, I know you probably don't believe me. But I do care about your feelings. I can't just untie you yet, darling. I just need you to love me and stay with me. Oh, you might say that you do, but I see that look in your eyes. You're lying. <laughs> I won't punish you for lying like that because I know you're not yourself at the moment. But don't try that again. Okay, darling. Good girl. 
I'm happy you understand. You're making so, so, so much mean a lot of progress. I know it's a bit scary being here in this cold, dark basement tied to that chair, but I promise once I can trust you to not scream or try to at least not run away from me, I will let you roam the house freely, unrestrained. You just need to hang on, just a bit longer. Do I believe that you love me? Well, I think you do. Deep down, but you're just having trouble with your feelings because you're just a bit confused. You're confused probably because you don't think you should love me after I kidnapped you. Well, I personally don't think of it as kidnapping. I think of it as adopting you. But I know you think that I kidnapped you, darling. If I loved you, I'd let you go? Darling. No. No, no, it's okay. I know you don't quite understand. I love you too much to let you go. And I think you're starting to love me back. Why do I think that? Well, darling, like I said earlier, you're talking to me more without being rude. You're also much more cooperative with eating. I had to force feed you a few times at the beginning. And now, you just eat the food willingly. You even seem to enjoy my cooking and that makes me feel so, so happy. Since I practiced so much for you. I practiced your favorite recipes for a long time before I brought you here. You're still crying. It's, it's okay, darling. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not mad at you, darling. Hmm? What was that? You're worried I'd hurt you? Darling, I'd never hurt you. You're just too sweet to be hurt. If anyone tried to hurt you, they would get hurt by me. I know it's a bit hard to believe, but... You have nothing to be afraid of. I would never even think about hurting you. Remember, remember when you tried to escape that one time? I didn't hurt you then. I don't really believe in corporal punishment. All I did was stop cooking your favorites for a week. L listen, darling, how about this? I'm going to cook one of your favorites for dinner tonight. I know you'll like it when I make pasta. I love catching that adorable smile that you give when I bring pasta for you. Even though it disappears pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, yes, I notice your smiles. Oh, don't feel embarrassed, darling. It's okay. Look, I, I know, I, I know, I know, you're still a bit shaken up and scared of me, but you don't have to be. I know that fear isn't easy to change, but I promise, I promise you it will soon. You'll see, eventually your fear of me will be a distant memory of the past. So... Let, let me hug you again, darling. Oh, there, there. I'm proud of you for telling me that you were scared. I promise I'll do whatever it takes to gain your trust, darling. I promise.
I admit, I love seeing you helpless and vulnerable. It makes you look like a cute little kitten in need of rescuing. I'll be back in a few hours, so just sit tight, alright?